guys, welcome to another episode of your five fun and fact in five minutes. Five in five. I'm Blackie. And today I'll be bringing you five countries in the world where women pay husband's diary. Number one on my list is India. Mm -hmm. India is one of the countries that practice this culture for a long time. When a woman is set to marry, the bride's family provides gifts or money to the groom's family as a diary. Mm -hmm. So when she's ready, they bring all the money. Imagine if the father are wealthy. <coughs> Number two on my list is Kenya. In some communities in Western Kenya, such as Luya community, there are variations in diary customs where the bride's family contributes items, money, and other, other things to the groom's family for marriage. So during their traditional wedding, the bride is expected to hand over the diary to her husband's father. Listen to this part. This is the interesting part. Which can be in cash or in kind. <coughs> Don't ask me what kind of kind. <laughs> Yes, guys. So obviously in some part of Kenya, like the western part of Kenya, when, when a woman is set for marriage, definitely her family brings all these things, money, you know, items and everything. It could be cattle, anything. The number three on the list is Rwanda. In Rwanda, the tradition of the Gusaba people involves the bride offering a diary to the groom's father during the marriage negotiation. Ah, I'm going to negotiate marriage again. Okay. It is a ceremonial process where the bride's family formally requests the groom's family for his hand in marriage, presents the diary as a sign of respect and appreciation. And this diary may include items such as livestock, clothing, household goods, and this reflects the bride's readiness for marriage and her family's acknowledgement of the groom's family. I know some Nigerian men like this kind of thing. Number four on the list is Cameroon. Yes, Cameroon. Among the Bamalik and the Beit ethnic group, the diary system often involves the bride providing gifts or money to the groom's family. Okay, so why is everybody just giving the groom's family money? Can the guy not marry as he just carry out for free? Must they pay? The diary may vary in form, including livestock, money, clothing or other valuable items. So if they don't have livestock, money, clothing, they shall we have something valuable, maybe like ketchup or pot or anything that is valuable. I mean, even fine native slippers. And the last but not the least is Mauritania. Mm-hmm, yeah. I like to visit Mauritius. In Mauritania, in traditional Mauritanian society, the diary is tropically provided by the bride to the groom or his family. Uh, this part is interesting. If the bride is giving the groom, they can't discuss it. But to give his family, I know really bad that style. So that you know, give her everything, kind of. The diary, okay, let's just go on. The diary could include money, jewelry, or other valuable items. It is meant to serve as financial security for the bride and demonstrates the groom's commitment to supporting her. Hey, hey, from this now that you've seen, like we've learned from five countries in the world that's where women pay is groom price. I'm sure all the Nigerian men will be trooping to these countries. They want to go and marry. <laughs> Let us stay their copy of our bride price. Anyway, guys, this is all for 5 and 5 on today's episode. Five countries where women pay husband's diary. See you on the next episode of 5 and 5. Enjoy and have a lovely day. Bye.